Hi, that's me, Fred Gerwig, and this is my photo story introduction. This is me just after my second birthday. Uh, that is my favorite stuffed animal, Henrietta Pussycat. Um, got the name from Mr. Rogers. Had that cat for many years. Wish I still had it to give it to my daughter, but I'm not sure where it is at this point. I don't have too many pictures of myself when I was a kid, but uh, I managed to get this one from my mom just to show you that even when I was only three, I still loved to rock out a suit. Style has kind of always been something that I've been into. This picture was taken when my wife and I were teenagers um, by me. You know, some people have to look a very long time to find that one person that is the one that they'll spend the rest of their life with. Um, I've known Christina actually since she was in sixth grade. I was in seventh. Uh, we began dating my sophomore year in high school and have been together ever since. That now we've been together 15 years and have been married ten of those wonderful years and I hope the remainder of my days will be spent with this wonderful woman. Here's a shot of Christina and myself on our wedding day on May 16th, 1998. If you would have asked me as a kid the two things that I wanted as an adult, one was to be married and the other was to be a father. So for this image, I'm going to fast forward to the second best day of my life, um, seven years to October 4th, 2005, when we welcomed our daughter, Catherine Jane, into the world. In these next few images, I'm going to show you a few of the things that uh, really are snapshots of me beyond my wife, Christina, and our daughter, Kate. Number one being coffee. Um, coffee is just a wonderful thing and I consume several cups of it a day. This next image is a picture of my favorite show of all time from what I would deem in my humble opinion to be the greatest director of all time. This is a cast photo from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and the director was Joss Whedon. The man is a genius and I just love every show that he has made. I couldn't make one of these photo stories without admitting that I'm just a little addicted to Halo 3 on the Xbox 360. Uh, the image you're seeing is a picture of the characters of both myself and my spouse, Christina. She's the orange Spartan on the left, I'm the one on the right. Admittedly, between the two in this photo, uh, I'm the second best player. But I love the game nonetheless, and it gives us a great opportunity to get together with friends that we have that live distantly and family members that aren't very close and we can talk to each other while playing the game and just have a good time. Something that I sadly notice is that I'm not in a lot of photos uh, as an adult and the reason being would be that I am behind the camera most of the time. I'm a very avid photographer. I'm not going to say I'm the best one, but uh, Shutterbug nonetheless. I carry a camera actually with me everywhere I go and uh, try to take as many photos as possible. Some people are attached to their cell phone and um, if you ask anyone who knows me, I'm not. But what they will tell you is that this little device, uh, Samsung Q1, which is a fully functioning ultra mobile computer, is at my side at about all times and I just want to mention that in the background there yes those are salt and pepper shakers because that is really all the bigger this fully functioning computer is. Um, I like to call myself a tech junkie I really do try to follow new technology and whenever the cash is available add anything that I think is just too cool to live without uh, to my collection. This is our house in West Milford, West Virginia. We bought this house in May of 2000 when it was just Chris and myself and the family and even though we've added Kate, the house really is a perfect size and we've done a few things to it along the way just because we like to keep ourselves busy. But as a teacher I really hope to stay in the area here and this house is really all that we need. I've never really considered myself to be too much of an orthodox guy, and that didn't change in 2005 uh, when we had our daughter Kate. 
My wife and I had both had a stay-at-home parent when we were little and knew that we really wanted to give that to our daughter Kate as well, but uh, the decision when it came down as to who would stay home was actually me. Uh, I have been a stay-at-home dad uh, since 2005. I've loved every minute of it and the MAP program at Fairmont State University is great because it allows me to give my daughter a stay-at-home parent uh, while at the same time letting me get my teaching certification and my master's degree so that when she's ready to go off to school, uh, actually I will be too. These next few photos are just a few snapshots of the family that we've gathered along the way. And even though you've seen her in a few other pictures already, this is Kate, or this was Kate, and about 11 months old actually. She is just funny and brilliant, and I know I'm being a doting dad, but it's just wonderful to spend every day of my life with her and watching her grow and get smarter as she gets older. This is a picture of Kate from this summer and she really is just, she was a wonderful baby and has been a wonderful toddler but honestly she just gets more adorable and more wonderful every day and I just wanted to share a more recent photo with you guys. Life this fall is busy, wonderful and fun. Uh, in addition to my graduate courses for the MAP program, my second round of clinicals prior to starting my student teaching in the spring, we also enrolled Kate into a combination ballet, tumbling, and tap class. This is a picture of her getting ready to go to her first lesson. Um, she's very excited. She's been having a blast every week, and it's very fun to watch. In addition to that, she also takes kinder music one day a week, which is a preschooler's music and dance class really is kind of socialization and getting her exposed to social skills as well as you know little bits of musical training which is something that my wife and I as high school choir and show choir members really think is important uh, that she also be involved in music and the arts. As I mentioned earlier, it's hard to catch me on the picture side of the camera because usually I'm the one who's photo documenting everything, but my wife took this picture about a week or so ago of me working on a set of steps for a new back door that we had installed in our home. I should also be noted that my daughter Kate there says that she is playing pirate. Uh, she's keeping a look on the spyglass, I guess, to keep daddy safe while I'm diligently going about building steps. And that's all I have. I want to end this uh, photo presentation with a picture of home because again, home is so important and uh, I really don't have anything else. I hope that you guys from the little snippets that I've been able to give you know a little bit more about me and uh, I'm looking forward to a great year and great adventures in student teaching and hope to be a wonderful teacher like some of the wonderful teachers that I had when I was growing up. But, even though I'm getting late and in started into this teaching experience at the age of 30, hope that I can be one of those teachers too that you know some kid growing up will say, I remember Mr. Gerwig when I was in high school and, and wow, he really taught me so much and, and I hope to be that kind of person when I grow up. Talk to you guys later. <laughs>